Hi, welcome back to my kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. I'm really excited to show you our recipe for sourdough English muffins today. This is a recipe that you can put together the night before you want to make them and then in the morning cut them out and have them served and ready for your family in no time. So this is one that I've already cooked up and I've cut it so I wanted to show you what the inside looks like. This is a delicious English muffin that has all those little nooks and crannies and I'll show you what that looks like after we toast it up. So if you're interested to learn how to make these, stay tuned. For this recipe, you wanna make sure your starter is active, so make sure you feed it about 12 hours prior to mixing your dough. So to start, we're going to combine all the ingredients into the bowl, which is your milk, the sourdough starter, salt, honey, and all-purpose flour. And I always like to stir together the wet ingredients before I add my flour in. Just helps things to incorporate a little bit easier. So after you get your flour into the mixing bowl, just use the spatula to combine all the ingredients really well. And you can see they'll start to come together. So the next step in this recipe is to knead the dough. And you can do this by hand, or you can do it in a stand mixer. But it only takes about five minutes, so I just do this by hand. It's really, really easy. Just add a little bit of flour to your work surface and just use the back of your hand to knead the dough. And it's gonna come into kind of this nice, smooth ball. And just take that and place it right back into your bowl and cover it and you're gonna let that sit on the counter overnight. So the next step is when you get up in the morning, you're gonna to wanna to cut the muffins out. And you take a piece of parchment paper and line your baking sheet and just sprinkle on some cornmeal. This is gonna help those muffins from sticking to the parchment paper. And then flour your work surface And then take that dough and just very gently turn it out onto that floured surface. I'm using my hands, but you can use some type of pastry scraper if you have one. You just wanna be really gentle with it. And once you get that out of the bowl, take a little bit of flour and sprinkle it on top and then just use your fingertips to press the dough out until it's about one inch thick. So once you have that pressed out, you're going to take a round cutter and cut out the muffins and just place them right on that baking sheet. Now, once you have all these cut out, you're going to sprinkle the top of those with more uh, cornmeal. And you're going to cover that with a tea towel and let those rest at room temperature for about one hour. So after those have had a chance to rise for an hour, we're gonna go ahead and cook them up. So you'll want to have a non-stick skillet that has a lid and you'll want to heat your skillet on a very low heat. And we're gonna cover these while they cook and that is so the inside can cook evenly without the outside being overcooked or burnt. So just make sure there's some space between those. Cover them up and set your timer for four minutes. Once that four minutes is over, you're going to take a spatula and very gently flip those over. And then once you have them all flipped over, you can cover those back up and put your timer back on for another four minutes. And you'll see once these flip over how light and golden the outside of those are. And that's what you're looking for. So do not turn your stove up too high. You could see how they've risen and just got nice and golden on the outside. So set that timer for another four minutes and 
this is what they're going to look like when they're done. Now I'm cutting this one while it's still a little bit warm, but you'll probably want to let it cool off before you cut it and then that's when you can go ahead and toast it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these under the broiler to toast them. And we wanna keep an eye on that so that they don't burn. And in the meantime, I wanted to show you, I'm gonna have another recipe post coming up for this honey butter. And what I've done is I've taken two sticks of butter and uh, whipped that with a quarter cup of honey. So that's 226 grams of salted butter. You can use unsalted, or uh, we will have another video coming up really soon on how you can make your own homemade butter and then add the honey to make this honey butter. But we're going to top these delicious muffins with this homemade honey butter. So again, if you have to toast your English muffins in your oven like I do because I don't have a toaster, then just keep a really good eye on it. I've got the broiler on high because I don't want these to burn. Ooh. Some of these look like they're ready. Ooh, these are definitely ready. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. It is done. See, it only takes a minute. So let's get some butter melting on these. And again, this is honey butter. And it's perfect for these when they're toasted up and it gets all melty in there. That is delicious. Okay, let's make sure these are not cooking. There we go. Mmm, look at that. How yummy is that? And that butter is getting in all those little nooks and crannies. So you can see here, look how delicious. Mmm, I'm gonna taste one. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's all I got to say. Mm mm mm. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this butter on there. This really is a special treat. You don't just have to make sourdough bread with your sourdough starter. This is one of those recipes that you're definitely gonna to want to try because it's delicious. So until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye.